thought I would make this a video about relationships. And yeah, I'm having a bad hair day, but it doesn't really matter. It's not my hair. It's what I'm saying. <gasps> oh, relationships. Each and every one of us come to this planet to work out all um, the challenges in relationships. And a lot of people say, um, uh, why do I have to go through this? Because uh, you have to see and look at her, because her is actually a planet that is a school that people come here to learn lessons. And um, there's a lot of lessons. Every every time we're here, we um, go a grade um, further. And if we uh, haven't done or complete what we're supposed to do we come back and we have to do it over and over and over until we really get through it and basically when we understand that then we we try to do the right things when we are on earth because it's just school it's a school if you don't do good in grade three or grade four you never get to go any further so that's basically how we should look at it and most of the time the challenge in challenging people and family um, uh, it's uh, because we need to learn the lessons and because we need to clear our karmas and um, the last couple of years people have been clearing their karmas and without clearing your karmas um, you will continually um, just increasing and accumulating more and more and more karmas so what we do in every time and every life that we get and we come back to her, we try to clean them up. So we always have um, relationship karma. So we with relationship karma it can be with your mother, with your father, with your sister, with your brothers, with your uncles, just about anyone in your family. And um, the strangest thing is that some countries look at families just to be the immediate family. It's just the mother, father, and kids who are in the family. They never look at their bloodline, so it's as their grandmothers, um, their aunts, uncles, cousins, niece, and so, which is very strange because normally um, what we have learned in all the years we're doing research is that your bloodline actually comes from the first ascendance from where you actually came off from. So um, people who look at their aunts and uncles as not immediate family, yeah, they're not immediate family, but they're your bloodline. And most of the time when incest and all of these things happen, it's because um, people don't seem to go to research um, if people are their bloodline or, or, or if people are connected to them DNA wise and bloodline wise and that's why sometimes we um, have these situations where we bring um, deformed genetic in our family bloodline and that is because these research didn't happen not all the time I should say this not all the time because I know I'm going to get um, a lot of questions over it's not really that way and this is what I'm saying it's not all the time but sometimes it does happen um, what we need to look at basically is look at the relationship between our parents when we um, clear the relationship with our mothers and fathers everything seems to flow in life for us um, once we clear the karmas of what's to ever happen in the relationship between our mothers and father the karma is clear and we can move on and uh, you know to heal the whole planet you need to begin to heal yourself so when you heal yourself and then you can move on to heal the relationship between your mother and your father and people are saying yeah but I never really have anything because that's always what I'm saying. I'm saying, oh, my mother, my father. I love my mother, my father. Why would I have to need to clear? I mean, my father and I, we had to like a totally different sort of relationship. But um, uh, basically, is that my mother? My mother was my best friend, and I always think, why would I well um, need to clear things? But yeah, you need to clear things because 
when you get upset with your parents and so you know that's just um, you scribe the karma of when because you choose these people you choose your mother and you choose your father to enter this earth surface mother hurt this is how you could enter the earth surface as a human being it's because you have choose someone you have choose either your mother and your father and and that's the only way you could have enter the surface of this planet so when I look at people who disrespect their mothers and father they're they're actually creating karma for themselves and um they're they're creating karma around and around and around because their kids are going to come and disrespect them too um everything in life is uh, what you give out you get back and people when people start to realize that it's a boomerang it's a it's a bounce effect what you give out you get back then you'll understand how the whole um, energy and vibration of hurt works and why I've chosen why I've chosen this topic basically because I was supposed to be doing the read for the week why why I really choose this topic is that people need to know that they need to clean their bloodline and in every family there is one person that is awakened and know exactly what is going on and we always look at that person as the strange person in our family but they're not strange it's that they're elevated and their vibration is totally higher than the normal person's vibration there's absolutely nothing wrong with them but um, people and society choose to place these people who seems not normal to our societies out and as if they are just so um, out of this world and that's not it they're basically smarter than the normal um, society because they think out of the box and 95% of the hurt think still in the box and the the other 5% um, think out of the box and that these are the star seeds uh, um, the indigo kids uh, all these um, very strong vibration kin children who came here to help with this planet and they came here and we came here because I'm one of them and we came here at this time because the energy we needed to bring back the love because if we don't bring back the love the planet will not ascend and it will stay the it will stay grounded in the same energy and um, we need to ascend and we need to ascend to a different vibration we need to leave the three earth vibration to a fifth earth vibration when we all can vibrate at the fifth heart dimension we the planet will actually give a rebirth and that is what we need to do at this time and basically just everyone trying to um, trying to fight through the energies because the energies are so strong now the energies and the vibration and hurt is so strong and we need to understand it and by understanding how we can use vibration and the energy to our own abilities to change things and to change ourselves then will know that the hurt will actually ascend in a good formation and more people will ascend with the earth because um, we don't want to leave anyone behind we want everyone to remember who they are the true potential and um, change your old perspective or how you look at things and how you look family is very important in every family and the family line we this is the time that we got the choice and we got the challenge on her to clear our bloodlines our bloodlines need to be cleared we absolutely need to clean our bloodlines from every sickness from every um, uh, um, disabilities from all what 
our ancestors and four ancestors have carried down there is just various of things uh, and I, I, I can I can go through a list of things of abuse sexually um, uh, over sex uh, I mean just 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 all of these things that we all own in our DNA and not only that um, the thief the the rapist the murderer and all in that bloodline we need to clear all those things it is just not sickness alone that we clear us but we clear all the negative energy and the negative behaviors so in every family there is one person and that person will find this video and that person will clean the bloodline of that family because we are all here to do this and we need to understand and need to get the message out there so we can bring these people together so we can help you to understand what does it mean to clear my bloodline because all the stuff all the stuff the lying the teeth the hurt the pain it is all generated all the sickness that come in your family all all the stuff what you can think that happens in a family all the quarrel all the arguments all the stuff it is karmic it is stuff that our ancestors have and we need to clear that because after we do all this clearing then her will ascend with a beautiful a more beautiful and, and, and clean energies and um, there, there, there are a lot of help. We have a lot of help, but we need to tell people because there's a lot of people out there that is charging an enormous amount of money to clean your bloodlines. And people, you should stop it because all you're doing is accumulating more, um, more karma. Because we were told that our gifts is supposed to be used, but we're not supposed to overcharge people. We are given an amount that we should ask for people. But when you look and you, you look at all these exorbitant prices that people ask for to do a blood a, a bloodline rhinoco, it is not it is dishonest. And you need to look in yourself. To find out why you are doing this because when you die you can't bring all that money with you okay we're here to help people to bring back the energy of mother hurt we're here to explain to people and ask and and let people know which, which way and how they should do things you have the information and the information was in braid in your blueprint we got the information and we got our gifts to use it to help people but by using your gift to help people and charging charging people and huge price you're just creating more karma for yourself and when people start to understand this they can understand to change the hurt and change the thing of dishonesty because this just, just being dishonest we were given our gift and we said yes by using our gift and that's why we begin with a three three D earth because we thought we could not have uh, we couldn't uh, in the 3d hurt um, support ourselves so what we did what we did was to look something else we did something else we did another work that bring us more energy and more more uh, the energy of money so that we could survive but as our all our gifts started opening up and we since we were born we know as light workers that we got a gift to use most of us are using this gift as life workers to charge people so much which is unbelievable especially um, charging to the blood Reinigen. that is what everyone need we need to um, really think about it when you're going to charge somebody 500 or more to do a blood Reinigen because it was given to us and told us to help people and the way we are supposed to help people by doing blood Reinigen you don't need to charge all that amount it can be done within a eight week eight week courses 
or it can be done within four weeks. That depends. But stop using information that we got as gift to use it to accumulate rikedom, riches. Because that's not what our gifts are for. Our gifts are to be used to help people, but also help us to have a stable, normal life so we can uh, support ourselves. So whoever this may resonate with, uh, um, and for the rest of the people who do not know what is blood reinigen, you can mail us, you can ask us. I will try and um, uh, make a video program that you can pay for, you can download, which is going to be at a much cheaper price of what people are asking for now because it is it is it is it is unbelievable how dishonest we as people on hurt are especially the light workers who are using their gift to be uh, to become rich that's not um, what we got our gifts for we got our gifts to help people so I hope that this um, a video will awaken to some of these people who are really 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 using their gift in the right the wrong way and to use it for the the wrong things please please be aligned and awaken to what your gifts are supposed to use for 